guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have an organizational video for you guys. I was so inspired to do this because let me just tell you why. I went to Target the other day and I ran into this. Hi you guys! Hola. Carlos and the dogs are back. Hola. I ran into this at Target the other day. It's this shelf right here, but look, the best part about this shelf is you don't need any, um, you don't need to like assemble it. Like you don't need nails or anything. It's like a fold and unfold situation. And I bought it because it was 50% off you guys. So I bought it for $15. Hopefully you can still find it at your local Target. They had a bigger one for 27, but I didn't feel like we needed the bigger one. So I got this one. So anyways, I bought this a few days ago and it inspired me to clean the closet by our front door. So I believe a lot of people call that closet the coat closet. We never put coats in there, so... Hi, yeah. Koopy! Casper, you want to say hi? <laughs> Caspi? Come here! Casper! Casper's a little shy. There he is, there he is. Hi, baby. So, when I saw this on sale for 50% off, and I was like, $14, that's a deal. I was like, oh, this is a great way to organize that closet by our front door. Because I don't know about you guys, but... I feel like every family has that one closet where everything is thrown in there and that is that is the situation we are in right now. Um, let's see, we have a seafood pot in there for seafood boils, we have our vacuums in there, we have our dog stuff in there, we have our uh, fan for like the summer, we have um, tools. your toolbox, we have detergent. <laughs> detergent, laundry stuff is in there. So. I thought this whole three shelf situation was going to be amazing to put like at the bottom and then hopefully we can figure it out and do a little bit of organizing today. Um, my dogs are just so excited. So yeah, that's what we're doing in today's video and then I would like to conquer my walk-in closet. I totally did everything different now. I know I'll link the other video down below where we did my closet, but I basically took two or three of the shelving out and we put a clothing rod so now I can hang more clothes up there. So we'll do that in the next video. But anywho, let's get started. I do want to finish this because I'm I'm so freaking excited. Ah, oh my gosh, I've never been so excited over a clothing, a, a, a rack thingy. You guys, this is what it is. It took literally a minute to put together. Um, it's so far really nice. I like it for 14 bucks. Yeah, it's um, and then it, it it's not like that glossy finish. It's kind of like almost a matte finish. Yeah. So it, it looks nice. We're not gonna show you our uh, dinner table because I was putting my Poshmark orders together and it is a mess. Anyways, let me show you this closet. All right, we are walking into the closet here. It's pretty bad, you guys. It is pretty, oh my goodness. It's pretty darn bad. Let me stand back and show you. This is our closet. It's in our hallway. Like I said, we have laundry stuff going on here. We have vacuums. We have our Swifter thingy. Swiffer. Swiffer. I always say Swifter. Swiffer thingy. We have a um, our fan thing. I don't know. We have a basketball hoop. Uh, detergent stuff at the top. The toolbox. And then over here, I do, however, really like this thing that I got on Amazon. Uh, this thingy right here, I will link it down below. We have multiple of these in our apartment, and it hangs behind the door. And basically, it has, like, these four compartments, and you can put anything you want in there. So we put um, the dog's towels in there for when it rains, um, and then their leashes and stuff in there. So I would like to have this organized and just functional, because I feel like Carlos and I try our best to avoid opening this closet because it just gives us a headache. Yeah. So, we are first going to empty everything out and then we will move on from there. Alrighty, you guys, we emptied out the closet. It is completely empty. Well, I can't see up there because I'm really short, but I just assume there's nothing up there. <laughs> Yay, there's nothing up there. And then down here is all clean. This is everything that was in the closet. <sighs> So now we're gonna have to try to make this work and make it functional. So I'm thinking about having the rack on the bottom left, baby. Okay. Like facing this way? Like, th like this, this way? Mm, let me see. Like this. Oh, that's nice too. 
<laughs> hey, we can hide in here. <laughs> this is my new hiding spot. I've been looking for places to hide from her whenever she gets home. Carlos, this is your new bedroom. <laughs> but I'm starting to run out of uh, out of places, so I gotta figure stuff out. You have to explain what you do. They're probably like, what is he talking oh, about? So basically, anytime she gets home, I uh, I try to hide from her and I try to like scare her. But she's like finding out the places where I hide. You guys, our apartment is only 1,100 yeah. square foot. So our apartment is only like only a certain size. So obviously, I'm going to run out of space. So uh, I'm looking for like any little crevice. Our closet has like indents, you know, like it goes in a little bit further. So I think this is our best option is to put the $14 rack thing like this, and then maybe we can also have more room squeezing something in here. Mm -hmm. So let's fill this up. I think the most important things that we use the most should be reachable down here, mm -hmm. and then the things that we don't touch often um, can be up there, you know? Yeah. Okay, so let's, I think we should do the rack with detergent and laundry stuff. Okay. Okay, so these are super heavy, so they should go at the bottom. They fit, thank God. Uh, I think this one might be a little bit taller. If not, you might have to put it on its side. Nope. Oh, cool. Yay! It fits! Okay. Is this the one we've been using? Yeah. So that one should go at the top. Okay. And then... Wow! Wow! It fits perfectly, y'all! Is this softener? Yes. Uh, uh, she's gotta go down here then. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah, I think Does that's that make fine. you anxious? Mm. Hold on. Move it? No, move this one. That's the same thing, huh? Same thing. Okay. Am I blurry? Mm. What do you want me to focus on the the rack? The rack. Okay. Okay. What's next? Swiffer. Here, the Swiffer pad. our closet is now clean let me give you an overview right here we're gonna start with the door so this organizational situation here is from Amazon like I mentioned and we love it so much so we have Cooper and Casper towels up there uh, this is our shopping bags and then we have their leashes and harness and a jump rope <laughs> So that goes in the door. These are super convenient for behind the door stuff. If you want to, um, it's, I think it'd be great for like college dorms, socks, underwears, things that are easy to grab. You can put it by the door. <laughs> you can even do a pair of shoes that you wear every day. Oh yeah. I used to put, um, sandals in here. Yeah. Like easy flip flops to grab. You can do anything. You can even put this in the bathroom and put a lot of stuff in. So this is our closet now. And you guys, this is the rack that inspired this whole video and look how it turned out we are obsessed with the way it turned out so this is all of our laundry stuff we even had more room on the side here for other things i will try to find this online for you guys because i think it's such a good investment and then we have our big old fan here and then on the side we have our vacuums and our swiffer mm -hmm. and then our other dyson vacuum hangs on the wall on the other side of the apartment so yeah. that's fine and then at the top it fits our pots and our um steamer thing for the floor and then carlos's toolbox which oh by the way if your husband boyfriend dad whoever has a toolbox and you want to make it bougie go to marshall's or home goods and find <laughs> these uh woven baskets they're really really cute it has a lid on it as well but yeah you guys this looks more 
um, like more approachable and nicer to open up. <laughs> and less stressful. Yeah, true. Like you don't open it up and you're you're not like, oh, like I have to get this. Was, oh, if you're wondering, this is my wheel that I use sometimes for my mukbang channel. And then um, I won this for Secret Santa. It's like a car vacuum. Which I'm going to probably test out today. Okay. Anyways, you guys, that is our video. Okay, you guys, we are going to end the video right here. Thank you so much for joining us and cleaning our closet with us. That was super fun. If you guys are into organizational videos or you have any tips for us on how to make that closet more uh, usable or like more user friendly, please comment down below and let us know. We are working with a very small closet. I think I am organizing my walk-in clothing closet this week. Um, and resituating re that out because I realized when I organized it a few months ago, I didn't end up finding it useful. I felt like the baskets were really annoying. I wanted to start hanging up more of my clothes. Um, so I'm going to be doing that this week. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a big teddy bear. Okay, okay, okay. Mommy will kiss you later. All right, you guys, I love you so much. Leave me a comment down below. Uh, like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, my loves. Bye, guys. Say bye. Cooper, Cooper, it's bye. your time to shine, my love. Okay, go. Say bye. Bye. <laughs>